Hey folks, we got a Hoyt Helix Ultra here to tune up. Got dropped off yesterday. So what we're gonna do is set the, he wants to change the draw length. So we're gonna set the draw length, check the cam timing, get that fixed, check our cam, top cam lean, put a new loop on, get everything level. He's shooting these Axis 260 spine arrows. They're weighing in almost at 550 with these tack veins. They're pretty cool, four fletched. Then we're gonna go paper tune it and chronograph it. Y'all stay with us while we do it all, and thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. I'm watching you. a little off is what he was telling me when he dropped it off we'll give it a check i'm touching on the bottom let's see yeah I'm, we're touching top and the bottom has got a good almost a half inch gap so we're going to end up having to untwist the bus cable So let's do that. Okie doke, we made it over here to the press. So we got the draw length out. We got just a little bit off on our uh, stop. So what I'm gonna actually have to do, it's gonna be the easiest, is I'm gonna take about, if I can see which way this is twisted. I'm gonna start by taking one full twist out of each yoke and then go back and see if that Remedies. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a twist and a half because it was off a decent amount. Let me take another half out of this one. Let's go see what that did. It's closer. We may have to put a little more in it. Nope, I believe that got us. So y'all looking at the top one, I'll tell you when the top, bottom one hits about right now. And I think that's pretty much dead on. Hmm. All right. So while we got it back, I'm gonna go ahead and take the spot hog laser and check the cam lean on the top cam. Let's see what we're looking like. It actually is not bad. So what I do with this, if you hadn't seen my other videos, is I check one side. We're about a third on the inside of the limb. I flip it around, and we're almost same spot so I, I feel like that's going to put us pretty close all right we're checking the third axis i got a couple levels clamped on the bow here i'm gonna lean it forward and our hamp ski level is showing level and our sight is showing level so i think we got that fixed i'm gonna lean it back and do the same thing And what this does, oh yeah, what this does is just make sure if you're shooting uphill or downhill that the level's not off, you know. So we, especially on, you know, more expensive sites, I like to check it. So now what we'll do is take this rest cord loose. I'm going to put him a new loop on there. And he said he was having some trouble with this factory string, the peak twisting, so I may end up putting like a half twist or a twist in the string to get that fixed. And then he should be, we'll be ready to go or uh, paper tune it. We'll get this rest to pop up for me. I'm curious to see how these tack veins, that's the first I've really messed with them. They're a real hard, back in the day they had those veins called Marco Vane, some company called Marco made them, I think, and it's, it's, it feels the same. It's a thick, slick plastic, it's supposed to be pretty quiet. So, let me find my arrow level. Okay. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to want to change that. Center shot don't look bad. Let me go ahead and cut this loop off of here. And we'll do our normal loop stuff. Okie folks, here we are, 29 and a half inch Hoyt Helix Ultra, right at a 550 grain arrow with a four fletch, 69 and a half pounds. I'm not going to chronograph it yet, I'm going to shoot it through the paper and see how that works and then we'll chronograph it. All right, so we had a little bit of a kick. I moved the rest over just barely, and we'll see if that fixed us up. If it didn't, my next thing would be, I don't wanna get it, I wanna keep us pretty much in center shot, so I'll go to twisting on these yokes a little bit. But let's see what we got so far. It's not bad. There's our last two shots, and they are good bullet hole, four-fletched shot. All right, here we go for the chronograph speed test. 540 couple grain arrow, 69 and a half pounds, 29 and a half inch draw. What y'all reckon? Let's see. Two sixty. That's not bad for such a heavy arrow. All right, folks, we got this Hoyt Helix Ultra tuned up. Got the draw link set. Got the cams timed. Got the idler, uh, I mean the idler, the top cam lean set. Got it to paper tune. Ended up just moving that rest the, the tiniest a bit over to get it to paper tune. I'm one, I don't like to get way out of whack with the center shot. We would have started twisting the yokes or done something different to get that little tear out of it, but we got it. So if you need a bow tuned up, give us a call, 864-735-8484. You can email us, archershack at gmail.com. We really appreciate y'all watching. Hit the old subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video.